Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, I should say. This is Nate over at Bullion RV. It's been a while. We had just had our open house, but today I'm back on the grind, getting the videos out for you guys. So today I have for you a 2024 Flagstaff Microlite 25BRDS. I'm going to take a step back here. We'll take a look at the front cap. We're going to look at some features on the outside. We'll get on the inside. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, follow, subscribe, all the fun stuff, but let's get into it. Up front, we got our uh, power tongue jack here. We do have our propane tanks here. I believe those are two 30 pound propane tanks connected today because it's beautiful outside. It's almost 50 degrees in Duluth. We do have our battery box there, which we do provide uh, upon purchase. <clears throat> Docking lights on the side. And we do have uh, power jacks here. And then since I'm right here, you can see dry weight of 54.95. But I'm gonna take a step back here because we got a couple of storage compartments to go over. This one does have one slide, which I got out today. Let's take a look at the storage. Large pass-through storage there. We got some grill and outdoor shower attachments there, spray nozzles. We got our fresh water drain. And then looking down below, the GoPro can actually pick it up today because I'm outside and it's light out. You do have an enclosed underbelly. Moving right on down for storage here. So this is a really, really small storage compartment here. I mean, you can, st you can store something. It does, it does go up pretty high, but let me know in the comments. What would you store in here? It's kind of unique. Coming on over. A little bit more storage off to the side here. You can see it kind of wraps around back here. Close that one up. And these are magnetic latches too, so when you open this up, it just stays held in place there. Cable satellite. And then we do have our 30 amp service here as well. Low point drain, gray water holding and sewer outlet connection, all the fun stuff down below. And there's those jacks again. Coming to the rear of the camper. There's that micro light. Spare tire here. And then this is a bunkhouse. So I like this setup because if you do have, uh, you know, kids that are coming in and they're, you know, they're playing. This you can actually see here. My camera can pick it up, which it can. This can actually unlock and this bed can swing up and easily out of the way here. But even so, you do have that net sitting right here for a little bit more safe and secure storage. So I like that option. Close that. And then we do have our Forest River hitch here. Ladder to get up top, fully walkable roof. You do have a 200 watt solar panel up there as well. Backup camera prep system already on here. And then I'm gonna do another side profile on the non-slide side. So it's a little bit windy today, but you do have a power awning with that LED light strip. Bluetooth speakers on the outside. Nice outdoor kitchen setup here with uh, uh, lots of storage in here. You do have your light hanging out right here. Dual axle. And then you do have your cable hookups here and your outlets here. This all Flagstaff products here, the uh, E-Pros and the micro lights, they do come with an attachable grill. And here's that attachment here. Furnace and hot water heater there. Dual axle. You do have the prop for your door to hold it. And here's the other side of that uh, pass through storage here. So you do have your uh, spray nozzles here and then a little bit more uh, storage for something a little bit higher, height wise. Let's head on to the inside. So in my videos I mentioned before, I love having the Flagstaff product because, you know, it does have the build quality of where everything's listed here. So it's a little bit windy. So I'm gonna hover over these again, a little bit quicker this time, but feel free to pause the video here for a little bit more information and standard features and additional options. Perfect. Now, another thing before we get on the inside here, you'll notice that this, these steps, they're not gonna fight me at all, which is something I really enjoy. They just pop back in there. I can do it one-handed, bringing it down. And climbing on in. Nice grab handle. 
So we'll do a view of the camper and then I'll explain a few of the options here, or a few, excuse me, a few of the features. All right, so first thing I'd like to note it, or note here is that this is a motion triggered uh, light here, so you can always have access to, uh, you know, where your uh, command center is, control center. Um, so everything's done right here. Solar controller right here. Plenty of GFCI outlets throughout the unit here. Fire extinguisher for safety. Then you do have storage coming in right off to the left. And I guess mini storage, I don't know, bag of coins, something like that. So off to the right here, starting off with the bedroom area, harder to do this with one hand, but this is a jackknife sofa, so that'll fold down. And you could see that uh, this Murphy bed is into the wall right here and right here. So when you undo those hooks and the, uh, the sofa is jackknifed down, that Murphy bed is gonna pull over and give you your bed set up here. But you do have USB ports, charging device outlets here on both sides for when that bed is down. Storage here. Lots of storage here. And again, on the opposite side too, lots of storage to work with. Coming around. There's our AC right there. Storage here. Lots of storage to work with again. U-shaped dinette that does convert down into a bed for more sleeping. All of the stats on this uh, micro light are gonna pop up right at the start of the video. You have exit windows throughout here. Storage up above. Storage up above. And you guessed it, storage up above. Coming into the kitchen here, you do have your extended countertop that can fold right up for more counter space. If you're chopping or cooking, doing anything like that. A lot of counter space to work with. And then right off to the left here, I call that the tower of power for wireless charging, GFCI, USB, USB-C. A lot of device charging capability there. Smart TV with Netflix, YouTube Prime Video, and Disney Plus. Microwave right at eye level. We do have our three burner cooktop here. Silverware holder. Storage. Storage. Okay, this is a this is a fresh unit. This is being PDI'd, so it's still everything is still uh, being looked over. But I assure you, this next part it's going to be taken care of. But I'm sure I'll get some razz in the comments down below. But there's your freezer and our fridge. Our freezer door is right there. Comedic humor, but we're going to go through all these units. We're going to make sure everything's where it needs to be. But. Uh, Yes, your fridge does come with your remote and information to this micro light, which I just think is funny. Um, obviously, that's not going to be there upon purchase. But yes, take one more look at that. Funny. But looking over at uh, the bunk setup here, like I mentioned coming down, you know, there's that uh, there's that door that I was mentioning earlier when this bunk can come up for storage or, or so you can have a little bit more storage. But even if you are uh, throwing something in through that door, this net can come up so you can kind of keep it secure in that area. There's that ladder for the other bunk. There's that grill attachment or that grill, I should say, uh, for the outside attachment. But larger bunks. Yep, that'll be put on, I promise. Bunks there. Curtain for privacy. Bunk room and adult uh, bed back there. Storage here. And just power cords down below and electronics. Thermostat here. Well, let's go into the bathroom. Plenty of room to work with here. Medicine cabinet. Outlets in here. A window, towel holder, lights. We got a vent right here. Here's our shower area. Definitely tall. I already know I can stand up in there. Lots of room to work with. So we'll, we'll stand back out of the bathroom here. Do one quick overview of this unit here. 
I really like the Flagstaff brand. I really like these micro lights. One of my favorites. Obviously, I'm sure I'll get some razz in the comments down below, but hey, I'm learning every day. I'm getting better, and I look forward to pro providing better videos for you guys that are watching. So this is Nate over at Bullion RV. It's good to be back shooting videos again. So let me know if you have any questions on this unit down below. All my information is going to be in the contact or the contact box, the description box down below. Uh, my direct line is 218-740-4965. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 20,000 subscribers. You know, like, follow, all the fun stuff. And I'm gonna be shooting another video probably within the next five minutes, so get ready to see more of my face. We'll catch you in the next one.